step four is to rent a physical slash virtual address so let's go over the first three step one you get a domain step two you get a website step three you get a business email now step four you need to get a virtual address it doesn't have to be a physical address all you need is a professional address like an office address so when you go to the bank to register your business and to apply for loans so that your business can look credible it doesn't have to be a physical address it can be virtual as well so i personally when i did mine i actually used regis to get my virtual address so you can use www.regis.com to enter a virtual or a physical address for the business you need a professional address because most lenders are looking for a business address not a home or a p.o box the only thing is, if you decided to get your virtual address address from Web, from Regis, their billing, the way that they bill people, it's not really understandable. It's like they're overbuilding us. Cause I remember when they bill me, the I got my for instance, I got my rent from them on October twenty fourth. On November first, they bill me. And they also bill me on November 15th for two months. I didn't understand it. I emailed them, contacted them to so they can help me out. But customer service was a whack. So I'm guessing because they're they're like we need them for now. So that's why they're they're billing us like that. And I don't understand it. So it makes no sense. So I suggest you find a a virtual address a virtual business address whichever one that you can find because you will need a virtual address for your business so your business can look credible so this is step four get you rent your physical or a virtual address for the business if you don't have the money virtual is very good so get you a virtual address for the business